One of the things that we get asked an awful lot by new Revit users is how the dimensioning works, because it can be confusing if you're coming from AutoCAD. For this particular example, I'm just going to draw three walls, just so that we've got some um, geometry to work with. And you'll notice that I haven't been accurate at all with regards to the dimensioning of the walls. When you click a component, it will display a temporary dimension. The temporary dimension can be converted to a permanent dimension by clicking this button. The dimension will always show, unless you delete it, in which case it will be a temporary dimension once more. Using these grips, we can change the location of the temporary dimension to dimension external finish faces or internal finish faces. When we select a component and change the dimension, only the component that we have selected will move. In other words, with this wall selected, the dimension is only going to move that wall. If we wanted to move this wall, we would select it and change that version of the dimension. First, select what it is that you would like to move, then change the dimension to complete the move. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give us a like, give us a follow. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe um, for more Christmassy CAD-based content.